And here, Hawking says, time becomes space. What are we to make of that? I am Thomas Hertog. For 20 years I worked with Stephen Hawking. When he visited my home university in Leuven, in Belgium, I showed him this plaque. So, welcome to the birthplace of the Big Bang. Dear friends, Stephen, well, birthplace, this is the place where Georges Lemaitre conceived of the notion that our universe expands, that our universe is in evolution. Lemaitre's Big Bang was a game changer. It was the biggest revolution in our physical picture of the universe since Isaac Newton unified the heavens and the earth in the 17th century. Lemaitre was familiar with Albert Einstein's new theory of gravity. In 1927, he was the first to understand that Einstein's theory predicts that the universe expands and hence that galaxies are moving away from each other. This is one of the most significant documents of 20th century science. These graphs capture the core of Lemaitre's work. Each curve represents a different expanding universe. And here in the bottom left corner, he writes t equals zero, the zero of time. That is the Big Bang. In one sweep, this raises a new mystery. Which of these universes should be ours? Well, the answer lies hidden in that zero of time. Lemaitre's Big Bang is at once the cornerstone and the Achilles heel of modern cosmology. Can you hear me? For years, Stephen and I have studied that zero of time. Stephen's visit to Leuven did not go unnoticed. Thousands attended his lecture in Leuven City Park. At the time, we didn't quite have a coherent picture of the Big Bang. In hindsight, however, I realized we were on the verge of a breakthrough. We developed a Darwinian vision of the beginning of the universe. When you delve into the Big Bang, you find a deeper level of evolution, a level at which the laws of nature themselves change and evolve. The laws of nature branch out in the earliest stages of the universe. Gradually, the forces and particles we have today develop the force of gravity, the dark forces, and eventually the nuclear and electromagnetic forces. So the Big Bang in our model is not merely the origin of time, it is the origin of the laws of nature themselves. Is this correct? We must be careful. For now, this is a scientific hypothesis. You can't just look at the Big Bang, but we are working on an experiment, the biggest experiment ever, made of three satellites in a triangular configuration, two million kilometers apart, orbiting the Sun. With this, we are hoping to detect gravitational waves, ripples of space-time, which we believe are generated at the Big Bang. The launch is scheduled for 2032. This way we build on the work of Einstein, Lemaitre and Hawking. The idea that we might be at the eve of unlocking that deeper level of evolution hidden in the Big Bang is a fantastic prospect. <laughs> 